short teardown today. This is a Logitech PS3 adapter uh, for their Harmony remotes. Basically what this thing does is it takes the infrared signal that their Harmony remotes produce through this. That probably shows up on camera. I don't know, it's actually filtering it. Wow, usually infrared remotes show up very clearly on camera. Anyway, uh, what this does uh, is translates that infrared signal into a Bluetooth command because PlayStation 3s use a Bluetooth remote and your infrared commands go unnoticed without this thing. So you have to buy this ridiculously expensive adapter which was like 30 bucks or something. Almost as much as I paid for the remote itself since it was on sale. And uh, yeah, this lets you control PlayStation which I no longer have. Ours broke and I just uh, chucked it out. Okay just two screws. There's a single button on this that uh, activates the pairing with the um, PlayStation and then there's a power connector and I believe that this is um, an infrared extender connector so you can relocate where the infrared receive uh, functionality is in case you have to move this somewhere. So I'll just take these two self-tapping screws out. I don't expect to find very much in here. I expect to just find a basic infrared receiver along with a Bluetooth chip. Maybe a little microcontroller to bridge the two. These things uh, aren't really worth much on eBay so I figured it's not worth reselling. It's just a little light pipe and the two types of plastic are heat welded together. And, uh, you know, if you look carefully, you can see that this is actually transparent slightly to infrared. And we've got a little board in here. Uh, one more screw. Oh, two more screws. Yeah, I can tell you, just looking at this, I don't know how the hell this was so expensive. Uh, the bottom just has a little membrane for the button. Looks like there's cutouts for something. Like they... Maybe they had space for two slide switches originally. Not sure. Oh, they're test points. See? They have test points located under, on the underside of the board. Must be how they program it. Okay, so on the board we obviously have this Bluetooth module. Well, with this chip, I couldn't really find any information on it. It's probably some kind of serial encoder or something like that. Taking data from the infrared sensor right here, which has a little LED in front of it. And then translating it in some way to give it to the Broadcom BCM2042, which is a single chip Bluetooth mouse and keyboard controller. And they're using that to just tran um, to transmit everything. Uh, yeah, so it's just appearing as like a keyboard or something, or maybe it has custom firmware to show up exactly as a keyboard, um, as a uh, PlayStation controller, because I think it actually does say PlayStation Remote on it, so it must identify itself as such. I've just got a big uh, protection diode and just the output for the infrared and uh, power inlet. Sandler. Revision 003. Alright. Not too interesting, but yeah, I figured it would be really integrated. And yeah, this is probably like $4 worth of parts that you pay 40 bucks for. And uh, this is the power adapter. It is a standard uh, 1 amp 5 volt. Tons of regulations. And it's very light. So give me a minute. Let me see if I can crack into this thing. The usual method where you uh, whack the uh, ultrasonic weld all the way around did not work. So I had to resort to a little uh, Dremel action and even this may not get into it. It has the uh, little international plug thing so you can swap it around and let's see if we can get this last little bit off. Something's rattling around inside it. I don't know if it's like a resistor or something. 
Oh no, it's just a piece of plastic. With the little pins. So. There we go. Oh, a little 3M. What is this? Reflective tape? It must be like insulation insulating tape yeah <laughs> genuine 3m or at least a knockoff that bothered to put on the name and as for the power supply we've got oh that must be what broke the uh, the transformer just shattered while i was whacking it uh yeah it's uh oh yeah and the, <laughs> the transistor has come loose too uh yeah good separation from uh the two sides, and well, it's fairly complicated. It does actually have full wave rectification on it. A couple smoothing caps. S Samson, Samson. Ugh. Anyway, well, I mean, they work. Ten volt four seventy, and these are uh, four point seven mic uh, four hundred volt. If I didn't have to destroy it, if I could just take out a screw and take a look at it, I would have kept this one. That's the end of this one. I really didn't expect to find too much in here. Now we know.